Today I'm going to show you how to make a greeting card inside a Lightroom. What's up nerds? Welcome back to another Photo Nerds tutorial. My name is Adam. Hopefully you've been enjoying all these new tutorials we've been bringing you. I know I've had a lot of fun making them and we plan to make a lot more tutorials. So if you're not already a subscriber, be sure that you do that and hit that notification bell. So when we post a new video, you are the first to see what we're up to. But in today's video, I want to show you how to make a greeting card. And this is something that not a lot of people talk about on YouTube. And I think it's really cool. So it's kind of sad that more people don't do this, don't think to do it. But that's why Photo Nerds is here, trying to use an old tool in new ways. So today I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really fun and you can use it for just about any occasion. So let's jump into Lightroom and show you exactly what it is I'm talking about. So here I've got uh, uh, an image up and in order to use this feature inside of Lightroom, we're going to have to move over to the print module. So I'm going to go up here and choose the print module. And when I do, it's immediately going to jump into this process as if I was going to print my file. Now, the first thing that may or may not annoy you that I want to address right out the gate is going to be the orientation of your photo. A lot of times when you go into the print module for the first time with an image, any image, it may not have the orientation right. So in order to fix that, all you have to do is go into the page setup, which is right down here and look at your orientation and whichever orientation it's on, choose the other one and hit OK. And that should fix the orientation and get the orientation exactly in the direction uh, that it that it should be or the way that you want it. Once you have the orientation set, what we're going to do now is use our identity plate in order to turn our photograph into a greeting card. Now, before we get to this part, you might be asking yourself, well, Adam, I'm not a designer or I I'm not very good at Photoshop. So where in the world am I going to get these graphics? And luckily for you, I have an answer. One of the websites that I like to use for things like this is freepick.com. These guys have thousands of photos and vectors. They're all royalty free. So you can just search for whatever topic it is you're looking for, download the vector and use it. So once you found the vector that you're looking for, what we're going to do is over on the right hand side, what we want to do is open up the page tab. So you just click on this little arrow and your page menu should drop down. Your page menu may already be open. You may have all these tabs open, but you want to look underneath the page tab. And what we're doing is we're looking at the identity plate. Now, once you get to this part, you want to make sure that the identity plate box is turned on. So you want to make sure there's a checkbox in there. And then once that's checked, you're going to just click inside of this checker box area here, anywhere in there. And when you do a little dialog box is going to open up and we're going to click on the word edit. When we do, it's going to open up another dialog box and you have some options here. You can either type in something that you wanted to say, or in our case for today's example, we're going to use a graphic file. So we're going to use a graphic identity plate. And then we're going to choose to locate the file that we want to use. Go ahead and find the vector that you have downloaded, select it and hit choose. If in the event you get a message that says the file is too large, just say use anyway and then click OK. Once you get this, it's going to drop this vector file in here and you can place this file anywhere you want to by just clicking and dragging and putting it where you want. Then you have these handy dandy little tabs on the corners. If you hover over a corner, you can click and drag to resize the file. You can even go back under the section in the page area and you can choose to lower the opacity of this file or choose to scale this vector file up or down depending on how you want this to look. So 
most of the while most of the work has been done just when you pick the vector file that you want to use and then place it on the image moving the vector file around and changing the opacity that stuff is pretty easy the hardest part is just finding the vector and then loading it onto your photo the last and final thing that we want to do is make sure that we actually can save this so that we can use it over and over now you have a couple of options here you can actually print this file with the vector on it I have an example here so you can either print this file with the vector on it to do that all you have to do is go to where it says print job and underneath print to you want it to say printer and from here you can choose your printer and print your photo out and this vector will print right onto it but if you don't want to print the file from home or you want to send a file to an external uh, lab to print this for you or you might want to share this on social media or something on the internet then what you need is a file instead of a printer so change print to to jpeg file and from here you can actually save this as a file so at the bottom you're going to click print to file name it whatever you want to save it wherever you want to save it and hit save i'm just going to save this on the desktop and now when i head over to the my desktop here i have the file that i've saved and i can go ahead and open that up and i have the file that i want to save anywhere on the internet or send this to costco or walmart or whatever to print please please don't use walmart to print your photos it's it, it's not very good and just for funsies i went ahead and created a couple of other examples of this so that you could see some of the things that you could do the potentials and these are some of the graphics that i have put in the description down below for you to download and use well, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. You found it fun and useful. I know that there's a lot of holidays, best friend days, cupcake day, pizza day, back to school, summer.